Hello and welcome to FT Trading Room. The controversial venues known as dark pools have been a regular feature of US equity markets, but now they're coming to fixed income markets as well. With me to talk about it is Seth Merrin, Chief Executive of LiquidNet. Seth, welcome. Now, you here. run the, uh, one of the world's largest institutional equity uh, dark pools. You're going into fixed income. Why does the fixed income market need another of these venues? Well, <clears throat> fixed income today um, has uh, gone from what has traditionally been a dealer facilitated marketplace. The only way that you could trade a corporate bond today is through a human being, and traditionally one of these large dealers who applied a tremendous amount of capital to this marketplace to, bef to facilitate the markets. Um, so their capital in the past has been about $250 billion that they've applied to simply making this market efficient. Because of regulatory issues and because of the financial crisis, that capital has dwindled down to about $15 billion. At the same time that the overall issuance and the size of the corporate bond market has doubled. Mm -hmm. So the traditional way of trading corporate bonds is now gone. So, of course, um, something else has to come in to fill the vacuum. And the only way to fill the vacuum is through linking all of these asset managers together, which is what LiquidNet has done very effectively over the last 15 years, because it's the asset managers who own 99.9% .9 of these bonds. Uh, an, a, an institutional dark pool is absolutely necessary to centralize all of the liquidity in these corporate bonds and to allow these people to trade among themselves without the, facil the facilitation of a human intermediary. You're not know, the first people to, to have actually come to this conclusion, though. I mean, I mean any, anybody uh, in this space will probably say, oh, great, yet another dark pool, uh, yet another fixed income platform pitch. I must have seen 20 in the last 10 months. Uh, what makes yours different? So we've all heard that there are lots of entrants in coming into this pool, um, and logically so because it's, it's such a, a large problem and, and thus a large opportunity. You know, our difference is that we've already solved the liquidity problem, and ultimately it all comes down to liquidity. We've already signed up 800 of the largest asset managers around the world, and signing them up has taken us 15 years. To get broker approved at each one of these uh, asset managers, to, to get um, lines in place, tele communication lines in place, to um, already have hooks into and integrations with their order management systems. Um, we launched with about 120 members on day one, all connected, and that would have taken us five, six, seven years to do had we not already connected them on the equity side. So ultimately, you could have the best system venue product, but if you don't bring the liquidity with you, then it's not worth anything. But why a, a dark pool? I mean, I mean, there are already existing uh, venues out there for fixed income, uh, you know, Bloomberg or Market Access, that are already centralizing that liquidity as well. What would be different about a dark pool? So those venues are not centralizing liquidity. What they do is they allow you to electronically send an order from your desk, from the asset manager's desk, over to be executed at the broker's desk, or to provide you with quotes um, as to where that bond is trading. Remember, the bond market is, is um, so opaque. There's no s central exchange that provides a, a, you know, prices on a real-time basis. And likewise, you know, there's no exchange that actually centralizes all of this liquidity. You know, you can send an order today to Goldman Sachs to buy a bond, and if somebody else sends an order to sell that bond to Citibank, then they might never meet. So what this market desperately needs is an institutional pool that actually centralizes all this liquidity. And, you know, we've got the largest asset managers in the United States connected to the largest asset managers in Europe. Um, and they could trade any kind of uh, investment grade or high yield bond. But what, what it really needs is it's completely fragmented today. And what we're doing is we're bringing a centralization of this liquidity to the table. And we're the first ones to do it. That's absolutely what the, the market needs. These not-for-profit venues, um, we're going to have to see whether, in fact, um, they're going to be able to aggregate liquidity. They've got a very, very short fuse because, you know, they don't have a lot of money and a lot of time to be able to actually get to that um, amount of liquidity that makes it worth the people's time to keep on coming to that party. So, you know, we're already hearing signs of, of Plato that, you know, um, we'll see whether it in fact ever launches. Um, and from our perspective, the, the real problem in the marketplace today is not the equity marketplace, it's really the corporate bond marketplace. And that's why we focused on serving that and solving that big problem too. 
Seth, thank you very much. My pleasure.